Death is hard for everyone and even harder for young children to understand. 11-year-old Zoe Hess dealt with the loss of her grandfather by writing a book, and that book is now published. Zoe is here with us this morning along with her publisher, Melissa Williams. Good morning to you. Good morning. What a feat you have here, my little lady. Tell us about your book, The Birthday of an Angel. Well, it was started when my mom lit a candle because it's a tradition when someone passes away. Mm -hmm. We light it in for their, in honor of them. And it was really sad time. And what did you lose? I lost my grandpa. Mm -hmm. I called him Papa. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like the fact that it was so sad. Mm -hmm. So once she told me what it was about, I asked her, why would you think of it the day they pass away? Can't you think of it the day they became an angel, the birthday of an angel? Wow, wonderful yeah. way. Yeah. Okay, what was the relationship you had with Papa? We had a very special relationship. It was something I didn't even have to really try to make happen. It was just there. <laughs> Give me something special that he did with you. Well, he would always come to my house, and I would always, he sit in this big blue lazy boy chair. Mm -hmm. So I would always sit in his lap, and he would read to me, or we would watch a movie, or I would color with him. You have oh, a wow. lot of special yeah. memories, and how wonderful now to bring those memories to life through this book. Melissa, this is a first for you, publishing a children's book. Yes, at Long Tail Publishing, we're used to working with adult authors who write for children. So when Zoe came to me with this story, I thought, this is brilliant. There's so much psychology behind really helping other children who are dealing with maybe the loss of a grandparent who, I mean, that's the most tragic thing that mm -hmm. children can go through. So her outlook was so positive and it just made sense. So we thought, why not, why not do it? And the project took about a year. She worked with illustrator Ryan Shaw and they got all the illustrations just right, worked with our design team, and she, she got to experience the whole process that our adult authors go through. Oh, that's great. Now, now Zoe, how did writing this book help heal you from losing Papa? Well, I wrote it last summer when I was nine. And I really, it really helped, it really made me happy to really remember all the things we did together. Mm -hmm. And by that time, I was just ready to let other people know my experience to help them get, feel a more positive way and feel happy. Well, I feel like this oh, book can yes. help a whole lot of people. And now you're going to even be signing copies for people. So you're, <laughs> we're going to be having some book signings. Where can we find you all signing this yes. book? Yes, she'll be at Schlenker Elementary tomorrow and then at River Oaks Bookstore on May 24th at noon. And she has many more coming up after that. So everything's on her website. Her calendar is on her website, thebirthdayofanangel.com. Oh, that all right. is great. Melissa, Zoe, give me a high five. Dude. Come on <laughs> yeah. now. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, keep up the good work. I'm sorry for your yeah. loss, but you're going to help yeah. others because of it. Exactly. Take care of you, sweet one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.